Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. And welcome to the first lesson on finance. And in today's lesson, guys, we are going to be focusing on financial documents, right? And before we get started, um, I'm just going to give you guys just a quick overview of what you guys need to be able to do when it comes to financial documents in your grade 11 and in your grade 12 years you guys need to be able to analyze different kinds of financial documents that will be given to you guys right you'll be given financial documents relating to your personal um and household finances you'll be given financial documents relating to your workplace and small uh, business finances finance right and you'll also be given documents relating to more complex financial topics like your tax forms loan documentations and so on and so forth right and so you guys need to be able to basically um interpret information that is given in those documents to answer basically questions that will be given to you guys right but in this video tutorial guys we're going to be dealing with financial documents um relating to your household bills and in particular your electricity bill right so please make sure that you watch the whole video tutorial and you engage with the example that we will be going through together before you get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a video tutorial guys and also don't forget to share this video tutorial with your friends because that really goes a long way in helping the channel grow and in helping the channel reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks guys this is just only the first lesson there'll be more lessons to come where we basically look at different kinds of financial documents and once we're done with those financial documents guys we're going to be moving right over to tariff systems right and looking at examples relating to that so please make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel so without any further ado guys let us get started with today's video tutorial right so let us have a look at this electricity bill right that was issued by the bombella municipality to Mr. S. van Yerden, right? So it's the question says that study the monthly electricity statement below that was issued to S. van Yerden, right? And we're going to basically answer questions. And it's also important to note here, we're going to be answering questions um, that are given um, based on this electricity bill. And we're also going to be calculating electricity tariffs, right? So we're basically going to be hitting two birds with one stone in this example, right? So please make sure that you pay careful attention to every um, explanation that I'm going to give to you guys, right? So let's just start off by basically analyzing this electricity statement that was issued to it's van Heerden, right? So this statement, like I mentioned, was issued by the Bombella municipality that is situated at 44 Swallow Street, right? That is their peer box and those are the telephone numbers, right? We were given Mr. S. van Heerden's address and it is flat 3C, Son Park Heights, right? We are given the client's name. It's Mr. S. van Heerden and we are given the invoice number. Okay. We are given the date in which this electricity statement was issued and it is the 29th of November 2016 and we are given the consumption details. So how much electricity Mr. S. van Yerden used in the month of November, right? So those were the units that were reflecting at the beginning of the month, right? 114,628 kilowatts units. Those are the units that are reflecting at the beginning of the, of the month. These are the units that are currently reflecting at the end of the month. So we need to figure out how many units did he actually use, right? So then we're also given the tariff, okay? What is a tariff, guys? A tariff is a charge in rands per measuring unit that is basically charged for a service that is basically used, right? So in this case, this tariff is charged for a service that Mr. Um, S. Van Yerden used, and that service is electricity. And the tariff here 
that is being charged for the electricity used is 0.219 rands per kilowatt used. So what does this mean? For one kilowatt hour used of electricity, right? You need, or Mr. S. Van Yerden needs to pay 0.219 rands, okay? So I'm gonna write that down there. For one kilowatt hours used, Mr. S. Van Yerden needs to pay 0.219 nine rands okay so that is what that means okay and then here we're given the sub total okay that is the total before your vet has been included and it is 158 rand point 78 so that is how much mr s van Yerden needs to basically pay before the vet is included right we need to calculate how much the 14 percent vet is right and that is how much he needs to pay after vet has been included okay so this is basically the information that has been given to us we're going to be calculating electricity tariff clearly right and we're also going to be calculating vet in this question okay okay so let's have a look at the questions question 1.1 how many kilowatts of electricity did mr van Yerden use in november right so here guys like i mentioned we were told that at the start of the month, okay, the readings for your, um, the units was 114,628 kilowatts units. Currently, or we can say at the end of the month, the readings for your uh, units was 115,353. So how much electricity did he actually use? Okay, we need to take the current reading and you need, need to subtract it. Um, from the previous reading to get how many kilowatt hours of electricity Mr. Um, S. Van Yerden used in November. Okay, so let us do that. Okay, so to calculate that, we said that we're going to take your previous readings minus your current reading, okay, to get the total electricity consumption for November. Okay, so what was our previous reading, guys? From the electricity bill, we can see that his previous reading was how much? 114,628, okay, kilowatt hours. Minus, what is the current reading? The current reading is 115,353 kilowatt hours. Okay, so if you punch that into your calculator, you'll get the total electricity um, consumption for the month of November. And you'll find that for the month of November, Mr. S. Van Yerden used 725 kilowatts hours of electricity. Okay, cool stuff. Let us go on to the next question. How much VAT will Mr. Van Yeren have to pay for the electricity he used in November? All right. So VAT, guys, stands for value added tax, right? So the government basically charges its citizens tax or value added tax um, for goods and services, right? So in this case, we also get charged um, tax for your electricity um, and so on and so forth, right? So how much VAT will Mr. Fanny Eden have to pay for the electricity he used in November, right? So this is a nice and simple. We are told that the value added tax, right, is 14% of how much um, you have to pay, right? So in this case, because Mr. S. Um, Van Yeren has to pay 158 um, rand and 78 cents, right? We need to get how much is 14% of that, right? Okay, okay. So we want to find out what is 14% of 158.78 uh, right? What is 100? What is 14% of 1587 right? So if you see that of, guys, we know that we basically need to multiply. So that is exactly what 
I am doing there. Okay, so let's get started. So if you punch that into your calculator, 158.78 multiplied by 14 divided by 100, okay, is equal to, to 2.2.2. Two two nine two, and if you round this off to two decimal places, right, it's going to be twenty two point two three. Okay, okay. If you round it off to two decimal places, you look at the third um digits after the comma, and because it's greater than five, we need to round this two up. Right. Okay. So that is basically going to be our answer. Alternatively, guys, okay, they also made this question very simple for us, right? If you didn't see it like that, because we were already given the total that he actually needs to pay, including the VAT, because that's just the total due, right? And it's include the VAT is included in there. You can just take the 181.01, 181.01, and you can just minus it with the subtotal right to get how much is actually the vet right so if you do that you will still get 22.23 okay okay because 158.78 plus this 22.23 will give us the 181.01 um, zero one. Okay, so that is the um, other way in which you can calculate that. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Show how the subtotal charge of 158.78 was calculated, right? So we need to show how they got this 158.78, okay? So how did they cal uh, get that? Get they basically calculated the electricity tariff for um, Mr. S. Van Yerden, guys. And then how do we calculate electricity tariff? Okay. To calculate the electricity tariff, right, or the total cost that he has to pay for the electricity that he used, right, we basically say that total cost, okay, is equal to the number of units used multiplied by the tariff that is obviously given to us, right? Okay, so how many units did Mr. S. van Yerden use, okay? We already calculated that for the month of November, he used 725 kilowatts hours of units, right? So the number of units used here is 725 kilowatts hours of units multiplied by the tariff right so what is the tariff we were given that the tariff is equal to 0 0.219 per kilowatt hours of electricity used right okay so for one kilowatt hour used you need to pay 0 0.219 of rands okay so we need to multiply it by that 0 0.0219 0 to get the total cost of um, the total cost that Mr. S. Van Heeren needs to basically pay. So if you punch that into your calculator, you will find that you get the 158.78. Uh, so that is how they calculated that amount. Alternatively, you can also use um, this method, right? So to get the total cost that he paid, okay, we want the total cost, okay? We already know that he used 725 kilowatts hours of units, okay? And we already given ourselves a formula here, okay? Yeah, we said that for one kilowatt hour used, okay, you need to pay 0 0.219 okay so what do we want right you need to remember if you want to calculate something you need to ask yourself what do you want what do you have okay so in this case what do we want we want to basically get the total cost that he needs to pay right you need to pay so we're going to take the 725 kilowatts hours 
and you multiply it by the cost because we want the cost, right? Multiply it by the cost and we said that the cost is 0 0.219, right? And you divide it by what you have. So this is what you want. That is the cost. You want your units to be in rands, right? Okay. And you divide it by what you have. And what do we have? We have our units in kilowatt hours. Okay. Because remember, I said one kilowatt hour is equal to 0 0.219. Okay. So you multiply it by the cost. That is what you have. And you divide it by what you have. And then what do we notice when we do that? The kilowatt hours and the kilowatt hours cancel each other. Those units cancel each other. And you will be left in your units in rands. And therefore, your answer will still be 158.2. Okay, so that is also an alternative way to do it, right? If you don't remember basically the formula. Ask yourself, what do you want? You want the total cost, right? So that means that we need to multiply the tariff that is given to us and you divide by what you have. We know that one kilowatt hour is equal to 0 0.219, right? So therefore you divide by the kilowatt hours so that your units and your units can cancel. And then from there, you will see that, okay, Mr. S. Van Yeren actually paid 158.78. That is how they calculated that amount, okay? Right, okay. So I hope I didn't lose anyone there, okay? Question 1.4. Calculate the amount that Mr. Van Yeren paid if he has used 803 kilowatts hours of electricity in the previous month. Okay. So let us assume that the tariff is still basically the same, right? It's still the same. It is one kilowatt hour, right? We know that, okay, we assume that that one kilowatt hour is still equal to 0 0.218. If we make that assumption, yeah, then if he used 803 kilowatt hours of electricity, then how much did he then pay in the previous month? So you multiply again by what you want, which is the cost, which is 0 0.219. Um, rands and you divide it by what you have which is one uh, kilowatt what do you see the units for the kilowatts and the kilowatts cancel and you'll get that your final answer is going to be equal to 175.857 if you round that off to two decimal places is going to be 175 point eight six right alternatively you can just use the formula that we used in the previous example that the total cost is equal to the number of units used multiplied by the tariff right so therefore we can just get the total cost is equal to okay so the number of units that he used is 803 kilowatts hours right let me just double check there Okay, and then you multiply by the tariff, which is 0 0.219 rands per kilowatt of electricity used. And if you punch it into your calculator, right, you'll still get it's 175.86 rands. Okay. Okay, however, we're not done. Okay, this is just the subtotal that we've basically calculated for the month of October. That 175.86, uh, that is the amount that Mr. Van Yerden paid before VAT was included. So we still need to calculate what the VAT, um, how much it would be including the VAT, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do. We need to calculate how much 14% VAT will be of that 175.86 um, cents, right? So let us do that, okay? So then we still need to calculate the VAT amount. So it's VAT, right? So it's going to be the 175.857, right? And you need to multiply that with the 14% VAT. So it's 14 divided by 100. Okay, and if you do that, 175.857 multiplied by 14 um, divided by 100 will give you 24 rand and 61 
0.998 cents. And if you round it off to two decimal places, it's going to be 24 rand points, right? So if you round off to two decimal places, guys, you look at the third digit after the comma. So since this number is greater than five, we need to round that one up. So it's going to be six, two, right? So that is the VAT amount for um, October that he needs to pay. Therefore, his total, the amount that was due for October, including VAT, was therefore equal to, okay, is therefore equal to 175.86 plus 24 point six two so if you punch those two into your calculator okay you will get that mr van yearden paid 248 okay in the month of october for his electricity um including vet okay so that is basically it for today's video tutorial we basically like i mentioned hit two birds with one stone we analyzed an electricity bill and we also calculated electricity tariffs as well as um that okay so i hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial i hope you guys give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up and please make sure that you've clicked on that um <laughs> Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified when the next video tutorial drops. Like I mentioned, we are going through all the different types of financial documents that you guys um, need to be able to analyze as well. And then once we're done with that, we're going over to um, we're going over to our tariffs, right? So please make sure that you are subscribed and you have also hit our, um, that notification bell. So that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial. And I will see you guys on my next upload. That is it, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys.